So another menu that I think is just probably best played around with rather than, than uh, run through some calculations is again under finance and then the bond menu. There's all kinds of things you can do with bonds. You can set your bond type, um, the actual, you can set it as a 30, 360 or actual, um, actual semi-annual or annual. We have this is our settlement, our purchase date. We have maturity date, the coupon rate, the call price, and then if we go to more, we have the yield percentage, the price, and um, the interest accrued. But let's just go ahead and run through one example. So we have a bond that we want to buy on August 10th, 1987 for a, it's a 6.75% treasury bond, matures on May 1st, 2002, and we want a yield of 8 and 3 eighths percent. We're going to have an actual actual, and the coupon payments are semi-annual. And then one thing I did want to point out is that the date format, just like we talked about in the time menu, we're going to enter month, month, a decimal point, day, day, year, 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 year. All right, so first let's go ahead and clear our data. Then we're going to set the type to actual, actual. Go ahead and back up to the previous menu. Um, the settlement date, so that's when we're going to purchase this. So this is going to be, whoops, let's just enter in 8 point, that's August 10th, 1987. And go ahead and enter that as our settlement date. There we can see it's been entered. The maturity date is going to be May 1st, so 5.01, 2002. May 1st, 2002. The coupon rate is 6.75%. And then let's go to the More menu. And then we have, um, it's going to be 8 and 3 eighths. So let's do the 3. Three divided by eight. Eight plus is eight point three, and that's going to be our yield. So our price, let's just hit that, is going to be eighty six point three eight. Okay, and then let's add that to the accrued interest. And we have eighty-eight point two three, so that's the net price. Now let's say that the market quote for the bond is eighty-eight dollars and twenty-five cents. Now what yield does that represent? So eighty-eight point two five price, and then let's hit yield, and that gives us eight point one three percent. So that's the yield to maturity.